TikTok houses you wish you had, and I also wish I had. My mom's always saying, Lindsay, why do you shower in my shower so much? What? That whole museum hall is a shower? This is completely ludicrous. Isn't this a bit of an odd shower? Like, don't you want a closed space? Not some open concept museum shower space where the water comes from everywhere? I have so many questions. Monster everybody fish tank? Everybody has that one thing in their house that everybody uh -huh. thinks is so cool. Like, this is the biggest personal fish tank I have ever seen. It's an aquarium. Usually when someone has sharks, it's like those tiny ones, and most people don't even have sharks. This is just insane. How do you even feed them? Can you imagine going out of town and being like, hey, Catherine, can you come over and feed my sharks? I've seen this one before, it's pretty cool. They have this faucet and it's a coffee machine. They have a faucet in their very sleek kitchen that dispenses high-end coffee. And it could be cappuccino, lattes. I actually can't have more than one cup of coffee a day, otherwise I get really jittery and anxious and I fly off every wall. But if I had this in my house, I'd be drinking coffees every two hours and my life would be a mess. So in a way, I'm glad I don't have this really cool thing before walking into a $32 million mansion. What? what? It's cool, but it seems a little wasteful. At first I thought it was gonna like clean his shoes, but it put like plastic on his shoes. I mean, you could just like take off your shoes. You know, the thing that you do when you walk into anybody else's house, but when you enter your house and see this, <gasps> what a view. Holy. I love this house. I wanna see more. I want a house tour. This guy has some pretty sick cars. Dinosaur, apparently. Just a skeleton, thankfully. This is a really nice house. But this guy's caption says, when you have so much money, you don't even know what to do with it. Hashtag money. Um, have you heard of giving back? So we got another beautiful house with what? A little pond and it looks like there's sharks in there. Imagine accidentally falling in one night. Next thing you know, your friends are like, we haven't heard from Asley in 11 days. Also, that can't be enough space for sharks. Whoa, look at this bathroom. A family of four could comfortably live in this bathroom and be fine, like comfortably. You guys asked for it, so here's another update on the one. The 500, one. 500 million, so half a billion? Million dollar property currently under construction in Los Angeles. Like I mentioned before, there are supposedly four pools on this property. Why do you need four pools? What do you possibly need four pools for? Your pool for swimming? Your pool for going slow? Your pool for floating? Your pool for diving? Like you could do all those things in one pool, just say. There's no reason anybody needs four pools. The only thing I can think of is two pools, if you really like need it. Indoor, outdoor, fair, fair, fine. Four? Indoor, outdoor, what are the other two for? And you're looking at one of them right now, but it's not filled yet. Moving along the side of the home, you'll see the driveway that leads up to the entrance and the 30 car underground garage. Is this a house or a Here's town? a decent view of the side of the mansion and the roof. Technically There's definitely gonna be a cool lounge area up there, including the putting green on the far side. As we round the corner, you'll see two more pools. The elevated one- Wait, 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 wait. Is this dude like allowed to be showing this house or is he just like illegally flying a drone around and showing it to us? It's possible that that pool is actually attached to the master suite as well. Now to the backyard where you see the moat, which I believe is going to count as one of the four pools. If that is the case, can you- It sounds like he doesn't even know. I think, I think he just flew his drone and he's like, let's show people this house. Oh, you see that pool? That's pretty cool. It's like a full glass thing. The whole pool is glass. So you never have privacy ever? I think I have a small issue with people in the living room looking up to me in the pool. There's like a hundred things that could go wrong there. Coolest part of the house. Let's see what this one is. A spice rack? Oh, and a movie theater? That's cool, I guess. Black toilet. This is the perfect example of a weird yeah. flex, but okay. Things in my mom's closet that just, just makes, makes sense. sense. Okay. The dream closet. I mean, the oh, that's really cool. Down. Oh, and sick. It even turns. Okay. And so does the bottom. Okay, that was pretty cool. But the title, Things in My Mom's Closet That Just Makes Sense, it's like she's setting us up for a 12 part Netflix series. It's like part seven hologram projections of outfit combinations. Wait, did I just invent something? Here, we're driving up to the house. It looks kind of like a Roman castle. And by kind of, I mean it is. Oh, personal elevator. Now that's a rich. Flex. I mean, this whole house is a rich flex. You didn't even need the elevator. It was like a little unnecessary. It's like, we get it. You're so rich, you don't need to walk up the stairs. They did it. They created the perfect bathroom. Whoa. Where's the toilet? They forgot the most important parts. Everybody has that one thing in their house that what? everybody thinks is so cool. What? Could what? be. She has a rock climbing wall. Cool. Next, a roller coaster for shirts. Why would you want that? I don't know. A long bridge that leads absolutely 
nowhere. At first I was impressed. And the more you think about it, the more you're like, this is just an episode of why would you want that? Holy, that pool is big. Why would you ever want a pool that big? It's so like excessive and not even in a good way. There better be more than like four people in your family. I swear to God. If it's just you, you in that massive pool, then I don't even know what to say. Look, can you even swim across? Okay, now let's see what this girl has that everybody wants. Okay, so far it's a shower. Okay, very normal, very normal. Whoa! Now that is a view. I'm pretty sure you, everybody can see their house from that view. That, that was pretty cool. I was like, whoa, whoa. I was very unimpressed and then I was impressed. Okay, let's see what this girl has. What do you have? Nah, man. Pretty sure this is a boat because there are not any houses that close to the Eiffel Tower. Sick prank though. Let's see what this person's house has. It's a pretty cool house so far. The cabin is open. I've seen that before though. Power plugs in the th islands. I've seen those before. Okay, now that's pretty sick. That's tight. Okay, you open up the sunroof. Imagine forgetting to close the retractable sunroof and then it rains and your house is destroyed. I am actually really enjoying these people's house. What is going on over here? Does this person live in a tricked out airplane hangar? I'm actually good. I think I'll pass. That does not feel like homey or comfortable or, or welcoming, you know? What's happening here? So far looks... Whoa! When the government tells you to work from home. I went to the launch party of a $14 million home. The first thing I saw upon arrival was a flying violinist. What? Did the person go on the roof to look at a close look? That's hilarious. What is happening? This is so insane and unnecessary. Do you think she bills herself as the levitating violinist or did she roll up to the party and they're like, please sign this waiver. Here's your bungee, now fly. Ooh, fingerprint scanner. That's pretty cool. Ooh. Basement bar. Ooh. Catering kitchen. Oh, Waiting for the kitchen. gym equipment. Waiting for the gym equipment. <laughs> when you don't have the goods for your video flex, but you proceed anyway. What is happening here? Sees Charlie and Chocolate Factory one time. Don't walk in the candy room where everything is candy with your shoes on. You crazy? Okay, this is pretty cool. But like for every day? Or is this just like a birthday party type of situation? I've shown you guys this fridge passageway before. It's actually part of a trippy exhibit with mind bending features at a place called Meow Wolf in Santa Fe, New Mexico. I want to go! Coolest room in the house. Oh, it's gonna be a secret bookshelf. Just has that look, you know? Like I looked at it and I was like, there's secrets behind there. When your secret room takes you to, drum roll. Was that a storage closet? That's boring. Yeah, it's a storage closet. Psh, let's see what's so cool about this. Okay, so far this just looks like a regular closet. Do da da, ooh. Hidden bedroom in your closet. In a bedroom instead of a closet and inside of a bedroom. Perfect for privacy or to hide from the bad people. What bad people, you may ask? There's always at least one. Okay, this is stressing me out, even though I know he's probably not really thirsty. Like, this is giving me anxiety. Like, can you just fill it up? Isn't there a bathroom sink you could fill it up in? It's the same water. Oh my God, it better be filtered. It better be filtered. Whoa! whoa! How big is your house? That was like 20 sets of stairs. It's not even filtered? I want a refund. <laughs> what? She has a full climbing wall in her garage. Man, some people were better prepared for lockdown than others. What? All these headshots. Oh, and the Spider-Man model. People's parents must like work in Hollywood or be movie geeks. Either or, I'm impressed. Dude, uh-uh, that ain't it. Imagine when you need really need to go climbing all those steps. That seems annoying. I would have peed on those steps at least once in my life. Hey, you do you. Oh, it's just, it's a coffee one again. Now that I've seen this once, it's like, what else you got? Is this something I can buy online? Cause, Cause now two, two people, people have it. I just Amazon it over. Okay, let's see what you got. Kitchen. Whoa! Okay. But can you move the cabin as if you're in the basement and want to get out? Or are you just stuck there? Like what if somebody closes that on you while you're in there? Okay. It's pretty cool jungle looking back here, but also you need to clean that pool. It looks disgusting. <laughs> I know weekly cleaning can be expensive, especially when the pool is that big, but surely like once in this decade would be great. It's green, it's green. Go in there and you'd come out with a tentacle, some type of mutation. <laughs> How do you feel about this bathroom concept? It's like kind of cool. If you want everyone to see 100% of what happens in the bathroom, then this is the perfect design for you. Personally, I'll pass. This Hollywood homeowner was paranoid. He went through extreme measures to make sure his 10,000 square foot house was, I didn't read that fast enough, but probably still no one could break in. The doors are fireproof with fingerprint scanning for access. Cameras and gas sprays are strategically placed around the home. The closet has a secret exit route. 
that takes you to a helipad? This person was 100% in the mob. Because this is some level of paranoia that is not healthy. Whoa. It's a little house with air bubble at the bottom of the pool. If I had this, I converted it into my office. So all my recordings and editing there would be great. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you all so much. Stay awesome, stay sweet, and don't forget to be nice to each other. Bye-bye.